goal for his new club. These are paratroops preparing to play their part in Britain's biggest airborne manoeuvres, Operation Longstop, in which thousands of men and scores of aircraft were involved. Airborne attack nowadays includes the dropping of jeeps and guns. Here are Halifax aircraft jeeping up, as it were. The paratroops, jeeps, guns, gun teams and equipment represented reinforcements being sent to the aid of comrades who had captured Netheraven, an enemy airfield, the previous day. And the whole scheme was to test the lessons learned from wartime experience. The Battle of Crete, the gallantry of Arnhem and the brilliance of the D-Day operations all come to mind when you're watching an affair of this sort. But many technical advances have been made since the war and were now on trial. It's reported that the wind was about the maximum for parachute jumping and the men had quite a rough time. In spite of this, only about half a dozen out of the hundreds dropped suffered even slight injuries, a fact that speaks very well of their efficiency. All are volunteers for this service, by the way. Now for the dropping of guns and jeeps. They come out of the aircraft together, then divide and float down separately each supported by outsized parachutes to make perfect landings. Paratroops double off into action, and the next scene is the unloading of equipment from various types of aircraft. Monty himself was there, keeping, as you can see, a close eye on details. Foreign observers were present too, and no doubt they were impressed. Most of the loads brought down by gliders consisted of airfield constructional equipment. There were horse gliders towed by Dakotas and Hamel cars towed by Halifaxes. All landed according to plan in a very small space. The evacuation of important prisoners was carried out by what is called glider snatch, plane flies in low, hooks up the glider's tow rope and off they go. Neat work, and so indeed was the whole of Operation Longstop. Certain leftover gliders are being